Aquarius, welcome to your general love reading. I hope all is well and fabulous for you. Hmm. What's going on? If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you like my energy, if you like my vibe, if you like my style, put in the comments, like, share, maybe subscribe. I appreciate you. And for those of you who have been around, welcome back. What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please, for Aquarius. What's going on, please, for Aquarius? What's going on? Today's tarot deck is right there. What's going on, please? Show me what I need to see, please, for Aquarius. What's up? What's going on? What's going on? We got a little bit of split here. Yeah, I was already to say, there is some thinking. <laughs> Seven of Cups, some communication options in love. A little split. You might be seeing a couple folks at this time. What's going on, please? Show me what I need to see, please, for that Aquarian energy. What's up? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it feels a little good, too. We got a little dating going on for some of you. Six of Wands. It feels good. Mm -hmm. Not going to say it's not for some of you. Yeah, it's, there you go. <laughs> All right. Sometimes I pay attention to the split. Sometimes I don't. All right, what's going on, please, for that Aquarian energy? Recent past, recent past. Okay, Two of Pentacles. Juggling. This can mean many things. Doesn't tell me too much right now, but trying to keep the peace, harmonize, that kind of thing. Some of you might be working in that context, two jobs, or you have a primary responsibility and another equally strong and powerful responsibility. You know, you could be a parent and you could be working full time, that kind of thing, but you're trying to juggle, maintain the peace and harmony. Okay, you got a lot going on in other words, okay? We got communication for some of you, not all of you, trying to keep on top of your communication, your obligations, that kind of thing. What's currently going on, please? Currently, currently, currently. You're you working. You're working, baby. That's what we got. You, you're working, okay? We're on top of it. We're using our intuition, okay? That's what's helping you harmonize this, what looks like very tricky process, but you're on top of it as far as I can tell. We're, we're working, okay? Some of you are working two jobs, in which case I don't know how you have the time to watch this, but hi, how are you? You know, and like I said, we're just... You're doing a good job, it looks like, of maintaining what it is that you need to maintain. We're on top of it. We're using our intuition. Show me Aquarius' independent individual. Okay. Four of Pentacles, we are being conservative with our coin at this time. Also, not just money, your personal energy. Again, coin is about what you can spend. So it's not just money, it's your personal energy, which to me is much more precious. Because without your energy, you can't make that coin back. Mm -hmm. So some of you have gone through a conservation phase, holding on to that money lock it down or your personal energy especially if you're doing more than one thing or you're just extremely busy you don't have the time to spend your personal energy anyway okay okay is there anyone surrounding aquarius at this time we just all about that coin we all about that mad money heavy uh earth here across the board virgo capricorn taurus you know that might mean something to you I don't know. You know, you might have some strong earth in your chart, honey. Mm -hmm. You little money maker. All right, so. <laughs> yeah, oh, we got Ace of Wand underlying that. Okay. Somebody might be coming across your radar fairly soon that appreciates all your, your grounded efforts here. I'd like to see a little more sword for you. I'm sure we will. You know, this could be a new person. Or this could be someone who's already established in your life and they just kind of represent that ultimate founded offer. You know, this could be your significant other, your spouse, or someone that is yet to be. We will clarify, see what's going on. Show me the future, please, for Aquarius. Show me the future, please, for Aquarius. This could also represent a future business that you're working on. So, also new in that sense. In which case, this might have nothing to do with love. You know. What's love got to do with it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not how Tina Turner intended it, but still, <laughs> there you are. You shook out. There you are. Oh my, we are ourselves. yes. There's something you're trying to change. Okay. What's in front of the star, please? What's in front of the star, please? Look at you go, literally. Look at you go. Oh my, yes. Look at you. The chariot in front or of you, Cancer, now. What's in front of the chariot, please? What's in front of the chariot? Okay. Communication. I don't know what you're doing, but you're doing very well, honey. We're going to take a look here. This is looking like I'm making my dreams come true. What else can I say? I am Aquarius. Look at you go. Yeah, look at you go. You are definitely yourself. Whatever it is you're trying to achieve, again, this could be business or it may have nothing to do with love. Okay? This could be a brand new business. This is why you're putting so much of your money as well as your personal energy into this is because this is your concern at this time as Ace of Pentacles. You know, we'll see. We'll see. 
I don't know. Show me the advice, please. How would you advise Aquarius at this time? Your future's looking quite strong. Action-oriented, communication's flying. Okay, action and advice, Eight of Sword. All right. So, this is not the time to overthink things, right? You gotta act, you gotta act. We gotta take responsibility for our actions. You can play and by all means plan, but do not get trapped in your head, yeah? Your sword, so I'm not as worried about this. You're much more capable of handling this, okay, than those who are not sword oriented. All right, so I'm not too worried about it. Show me the overall, please. Show me the overall. Show me the overall. Show me the overall, please, for Aquarius. Show me the overall, please. Uh, look at you. Just look at you. Yeah, we, we are the decision maker here. Rational, calm, collected, cool. Honestly, I don't even know that this is about love so much as I'm seeing something very goal-oriented. And it could very well be to do with business, okay? There is something here, and I just know that you feel incredibly empowered. You know? And that's really all I care about. Whether it be in work or in love, you know? One often affects the other, by the way, which is my why I might be seeing this. Or it could be that you fall in love with your business. Mm -hmm. mm. But as I was saying, one often affects the other. When people tend to put a lot of their energy into work, guess what happens? Somebody at work sometime notice, you know. Let's see what's going on. Show me what I need to see, please. For the best possible clarification. For Aquarius, what's up? What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please. Show me what I need to see, please. What do I need to see, please? For Aquarius, show me those two of pentacles. Recent past. We are trying to bring something together. Harmonize, balance. Mm, we are on our toe. Oh, this was a firm decision on your part. You knew this. It was calculated. You knew this. You anticipated it. You expected it. This was not... You've communicated your plans and actions in the past regarding your struggles. This isn't random. This is intended. You knew exactly what you were doing. You knew exactly... You, that's you. That's your power card, honey. You are the king of swords. You knew this was happening. You weren't stupid. This was planned. So if you were doing more than one thing, particularly where the money was concerned, your actions also, again, your time and personal efforts, dedicatedly went into harmonizing several concepts at one time so that you could have a greater payout for something else. This was intended and planned on your part. Okay. And it's looking like, again, it had to do with money. Eight of Pentacles, please. Show me this Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles, you knew what you were signing up for, let's put it that way. Yes, this is what you wanted to do, that's what I'm taking away from that. This was your new passion, your new pathway. Something that you were very excited about. Eight of Wands, I'm sorry, Eight of Pentacles. We got eight here for some of you, upcoming August. Eight, eight, eight. Might, <laughs> might be of some significance, or perhaps last August is when this activity really started to kick in. This upcoming August might be significant to you. Show me this, okay. Correct? You put all your love and passion into this, whatever this is. I can see that it was important to you, clearly. Clearly. You put your love and your passion into it. You started from nothing. Look at that. Three of Pentacles is the starting structure base of anything that's tangible or workable. You started from nothing, and you're growing something. I don't know. You let me know what you're doing, honey. You know, just, I see an Aquarius who's throwing themselves into it. And you are in it. You are entrenched in it. You're there. You're living it. Okay, good for you. You put your love into it. Absolutely. Some of you just started from nothing and look at what happened. You also consolidated efforts. I'm hearing that. Either you had two jobs and you're trying to merge them into one. Or you consolidated other people's efforts and you gained rank. Something like that. Like you were in charge of consolidating other people's efforts to make sure that they're maintaining balance and harmony. And that kind of leveled you up. And you helped people start from nothing and into something. You see what I'm saying? I'm seeing somebody's gradual efforts, not just yours, but other people's. So there's a good chance you regulate other people's activities, i.e. supervisor, manager, that kind of thing. Okay? And you put all of your best self into this. Four of Pentacles. Currently, you hold an off. You hold them back. So I have four of Pentacles. Now, it could be that you were in a very strict uh, saving phase. This is conservation. Conservation. Be it energy or pentacle. Show me this four of Pentacles, please. Show me this four of Pentacles. Show me this four of Pentacles. Yes, and you feel good. So again, confident decision making on your part. You're like, I know exactly what I'm doing. This is part of the plan. This is part of the plan. I'm looking at an Aquarius who knows exactly what's up. This is all part of the plan. 
you have confidence in this. This is correct. I'm going through an energy conservation or a financial conservation at this time. It's planned and it's correct and I feel confident about it. I don't, what you're gearing up for is whatever this is. It, again, it may not be another person at all. Show me this Ace of Pentacles, please. Show me the Ace of Pentacles. Show me the, okay. Yes. Oh, we excited. Oh, we excited. We got two knights here. You're just deploying your best energy towards this. Uh, is this someone else? Who is this? Is this someone else or it's something that you are just terribly exciting about your business? Something like that? Yeah. Leveling up. My goodness. We are in our power, yeah? This is fascinating. There is a good chance that in your work efforts, this does feel like an outsider energy. Or you're just so fucking boss at this point. I can't tell. I feel like one leads into the other. The more you put your energy and efforts into work, the more likely there is that there is someone else. Okay. Um, that's how you're gaining visibility. Okay. Somebody's very excited by you. They could literally be a healer. Okay. Empress. Could be you. Could be them. I don't know. But someone is of high rank is very much acknowledging your efforts and they are very excited and or interested in you. We have Taurus Libra as well as Sag here. Your energy seems to be moving towards them. It feels good. It feels confident. It feels correct. I don't know what it is. It's like the, the more you do well for yourself, honey, you know, it would just make sense then that you are attracting people who are of like mind and can appreciate your efforts as a person, your best efforts and energy. It would make sense then that you're attracting someone who's quite powerful that sees the best in you and what it is that you have to offer. That makes perfect sense, really. I'm going to say, you know, why does career show up in love? Why does love show up in career? Because that's life. The, cro the probability of crossover is very high. <laughs> Most people meet each other at work. That's very common. I am seeing an Aquarius who is throwing everything they have in the book and the kitchen sink and their mom and their mom's dog into their career. And it's intended on your part. The best of your feeling is going into your workspace. There's nothing, I'm looking at Aquarius, there's nothing here you haven't thought of or predicted in your efforts here. None of this is a surprise to you. You also feel good about your energy conservation, be it the actual coin or your particular energy. Um, your energy seems to be going towards someone in these efforts as well, or they're coming towards you in recognition of your efforts and the way that you take care of yourself and your business and how well you're doing it. Um, you're very competent here. Somebody is very pleased with your energy. And uh, there's some excitement here. It's rather some ex uh, substantial excitement. Mm -hmm. You got somebody's attention. Or they're trying to get yours. I don't know. But somebody's really fucking pleased. Like, really pleased. Their reaction to you is... Oh, that Aquarius. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> more or less I got two figures on this board one might be a healer the other person might be more of that empress and or boss person um, could be you could be them don't know who's who you do uh, yeah and confidently I feel like it's you could be the way around reverse energy says it applies but that knight of wand belonged to somebody and somebody with confidence is going to make an offer to someone else and their reaction is pleasure they are very pleased. They are very, very pleased. This is a person of substance, too. Again, reverse energies as it applies. It might be that someone is so impressed with your particular efforts, their energy is going towards you, and your response is pleasure. And it is very much so. There is absolutely an opportunity here for love. I told you, sometimes they go hand in hand. You know... When we demonstrate the best of ourselves through our own particular work habits, etc., we're therefore demonstrating the best of ourselves to other people, romantically or otherwise. So I'm not surprised, you know. And look at how well you're taking care of business. Show me the star, please. Yourself. Actually, let's switch up the decks real quick. Let's do this guy. Ah! It 
is what it is. You know. My hair's long and it gets everywhere. <sighs> there you go. If I actually know how to do shit with my hair, I would do things with it, but I don't. <laughs> because I'm fixed water and I hate change. <laughs> I know, I'm just, or maybe I'm just too lazy. Okay, show me this. Mm -hmm. There's that confidence trying to pop out again. Six of Wands. Man, you feel good. Show me the star, please. Show me the star. 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 What's going on? Aquarius future. Aquarius future. The star. Your long-term vision. Yourself. You are very much as yourself. Show me the star, please. Let me know if you're dealing with Scorpio. You might have some Scorpio in your chart. How so? What does that have to do with it? Oh. Oh. Be careful, FYI, for those of you who have to work in contracts, somebody might try to get away with something. Be very careful. Don't turn your back on it. As for some of you, not all of you, this could affect your vision of the future. Be careful. For those of you, warning, for those of you who work in contracts, be mindful of those contracts. Do not leave them to chance or to other people. That outcome won't be good. Take care of it yourself. Don't do it indirectly. And don't let a third party handle your contract. That's very specific. That will jeopardize your vision of the future. Substantially. You have been warned. Okay. That was fair warning if I ever saw one. Very, it could alter the vision of your future. Okay. So handle the contracts directly and make sure that you receive appropriate legal counsel. Especially if you're striking out on your own or you're starting up your own business. Do not leave that shit to chance. You will not like the outcome. Okay, anything else, please? Anything else, please? Take charge, yes. Very strong energy here, standing in our power. Mm. I know some of you want to give up responsibility. That time is not in the future yet. You still will have to be directly involved for some time. I know you want to move forward. Show me the chariot. You want to move forward into two of cups, so I'm telling you, whatever this is, I'm saying, okay, I'm saying two things here. That this is overlapping. So what I'm looking at basically is an Aquarius who is career oriented. That's going very, very well. And in your efforts and successes in those careers is when you meet this new person of some substance. Your energy says, I need to move forward in that division. Okay, I did the hard work. I did the hard labor. Um, here's the thing. You might have to delay your union or moving forward in a relationship with this person until you can make sure those loose ends in your new business or whatever is legally taken care of. Because if you don't, there will be a not so great outcome. You will need to expect to be directly involved with whatever that is and it will still need your attention for a while. Okay, I see an Aquarius who's trying to relegate responsibility elsewhere so they can move on in their personal life, which is very, very normal. Um, I am seeing here you want to literally move forward into a new union with someone. Congratulations to you. That's gorgeous. Um, but you can't give up full reins to this business or your responsibilities just yet. That will not play into your favor if you insist upon that. I saw a fair warning. So it can get very specific sometimes. Real person, real tarot, real shit. Sometimes it is the vague crap. And then sometimes it gets down to the details. I am seeing a detail story here. So for those of you in future, your relationship is going well. Your new business or your business in general is going very well. However, the moment you try to step back 
as boss and or leader, that's when something of some sort of conflict kicks in. You still need to be involved at that point. Okay, otherwise it will not work in your favor. So anticipate to be both. Okay, for a little while longer before progressing into your, your new union. So again, congratulations to you. Uh, but I did see what looked like a pretty straightforward warning. Okay. Um, don't leave that shit to chance. Anticipate being boss, the emperor, for a while. Direct involvement. I know your energy wants to go and focus on your partnership. That's upcoming. Um, but they're going to need you to be on board for a bit longer. Okay? Um, contractually speaking, something does not go over well if you take a hands-off approach. Does that make sense? Eight of Wands, please. Eight of Wands. From this Eight of Wands, we are communicating. Manifesting. Manifesting direction. Okay, you're telling everybody in the world, this is where I am, and this is where I'm going to be. Excellent. Eight of Wands isn't just about communication, it's also action intent, because Wand is fire. Fire lives in the here and now. This is what I'm doing, this is what's up. So you're announcing to the world all your good news. Wow. Wow. Lovely. Very good. You are manifesting clearly and directly to the universe what it is that you want. And you are moving forward positively into a new union, as far as I can tell. Now, the Eight of Swords is your advice. Don't act blind is based off what I saw back here. There's a good chance that's what that means. Show me the Eight of Swords, please. Mm -hmm. Show me the Eight of Swords, please. Show me the Eight of Swords, please. Uh huh. Don't act blind to the investment. Okay, you still need to be directly involved. I mean, like, I know you're tired, but you can't be totally hands-off yet either. You still need to be an active decision maker in regards to this career or pathway you set yourself up for. If you take a break or leave it or try to give it to somebody else, I would delay that. Okay? I would delay that. Continue to be hands-on even as you move forward into your new union. Okay? Um, don't be blind to your investment. Literally, like that's the translation. Do not be blind to your new investment or your new or your pre-existing investment. You can't afford it. Okay, yeah, exactly. That's why. I don't know what that is, and I don't want you to lose something that you helped establish or put so much of your time, effort, and energy into. I know you're excited for your new union. You're declaring it to the world. I see it. Again, congratulations. But you cannot forsake those. Okay? Queen of Swords, overall, you are an active decision maker, and you're making that money. You are establishing that legacy, and then also you have the action piece here. I'm telling you, I'm looking at Aquarius who's doing very well. You saw it back here. You had this, this, this game plan that is just brilliant for the execution of your work, your energy, your efforts, and, and then you meet somebody new, and they're phenomenal, and oh my god, and I gotta secure them, and so you do. <laughs> I am seeing what looks like a marriage here. Um, you're telling all the world what your actions and intentions are, and I see that you have built an empire for yourself, King of Pentacles and Ten of Pentacles. This is not insubstantial. This is your foundation, your legacy, okay? This is who you are as a person. I am a clear and active decision maker in all things, but also... Check out my shit. <laughs> but here's the thing. You notice this guy. This guy, he has the luxury of taking off and having vacation and relaxed time because he's like, look at all the shit I've managed to achieve. Look at all my resources. This is everything I've managed to do. But you are still obligated with that action-oriented piece. Please do not be hands-off. I don't know why that's so critical, but if this resonates with you, it makes perfect sense. Don't be hands-off. You can't afford to be. Something will fuck up. Okay? Something will slip up if you're too hands-off. You still have to be emperor. Alright? Uh, but other than that, I see you doing quite well. It was quite the surprise. I needed to clarify death, and then all those cards, boom, boom, boom. Do not neglect the contracts or details while you're trying to move forward into your new home. Literally, is what I saw. Creating a life, or literally moving house, or relocating. Do not neglect contract details at work. You can't afford it. Okay, something will not go well. So, we appreciate that. Thank you, Spirit. I appreciate that. That was direct message and warning to whomever this resonated with. <laughs> you know, those can be a little scary sometimes, but the whole, por the whole point of Tarot is to not just see where we've been and where we are, but also where we're going and what we can do to adjust along the way. 
So, I know you're happy about your new union. Congratulations to you. Do not neglect your well-established investment. Please, you have to continue to take action towards it. You have to continue to be emperor towards it. Okay? Okay. Let's see. Where are we in terms of... What do I have here? Okay. Well... Yeah, like I said, one often leads into the other, you know? Oh, for goodness sake. Always with this deck. One often leads into the other. Okay, so we put the best of ourselves into work. People see it. Because it also translates into love. It's like if that's what they can do for their work, imagine what they can do on the personal level, right? And that's what somebody is seeing here. I'll try to do a time check on that. Anything else, please? Or Aquarius. You know? Pull them towards you through your good energy, your efforts, and your work. Show me, please. At this point, you're very, very leveled up, but you did receive what looked like a very clear warning. So if you want to continue to stay in this capacity or function at this capacity, you must be hands-on, even when you're trying to move into a new union or relocate or change households. Do you understand me? It was a clear warning. And when spirit gives them, they're not often, but it's best to abide by them. Okay, anything else, please, by for Aquarius, for Aquarius. Anything else, please, for Aquarius. The alchemist. I should say so. I think that's very fitting for you. Yes, indeed. You are making things happen. You are bringing things together. Okay? Fate. You, many of you have thought I was destined to do this. This is what I was meant to do. This is what I've always wanted to do. I always knew I was going to do this. That kind of thinking. The wildling. The one with all the power. You've gained a higher perspective of yourself. Also Court of Taurus in this context. Power, the Ace of Wands, the passion, the ability to drive towards that which we want. Let's see. I, the wildling I associate with Gemini, but that's for some of you, not all of you. Trust, you have trust in yourself. Okay, and then also coupled up with release. Um, some of you are feeling like you can step back or take because you trust the business. You are trusting your business and releasing it to someone else. I. It looks like you still need to be involved. Okay. Okay. I was like, man, I'm trying to get married. I ain't trying to deal with this. And that's when you still need to be on top of things, unfortunately. Okay. Let's do a time check on this guy. When does Aquarius meet this person? Again, it's at work. When you're being in charge. Also August. Again, for some of you, it's August. Which is right around the corner, honey. Somebody to see, please. Can you show me when, please? This could be a wide range of time frames. I read for the collective. The collective is fast. Time frames, please, for this person. I'm telling you, okay, when you're balancing, balancing that when you're at the height of your juggle, so that means you might already know this person, okay? When at the height of your juggling, also the marker of two, so yeah, around August. Around August. For some of you, two days, two weeks, two months. Also nine, September. Again, nine weeks, roughly two months. August is going to be critical for some of you, at least in relation to meeting to this person, okay? Okay, it was slow going, but it was also planned. All right, Aquarius, I hope this was helpful to you. Put in the comments as you see fit. Congratulations. Take care. Be well.